Tracker 7 over 44th and Garfield as firefighters finish putting out an early morning fire. It ripped through a marijuana grow operation. Denver firefighters telling 7 News that was a challenge to fight the fire because of the security at the grow site. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez always investigating. Lance, you learned the city may have to change its fire code to deal with marijuana businesses. Mike, with all the product that's being grown in here, owners don't want to risk a break-in, so they're installing steel doors with deadlocks. Many of them are bricking up the windows from the inside, and Denver Fire says some of those safety measures are putting nearby businesses at risk. In this case, it was a surprise to us. We didn't know there was a grow operation. You can see razor wire, steel doors, and cinder block behind this plate glass window. The building so secure, it took firefighters two minutes just to bust through the front and back doors. We need to get ahead of this so that... Firefighter Mark Watson says this isn't the first time they've run into this problem. Does the fire code need to be adjusted? It's kind of one of those things where the industry has gotten ahead of, of the laws at this point in time. Watson says he understands the need to secure property, but says the longer it takes to access a fire, the greater the likelihood it will spread. That's definitely a concern. Because Carlos Ruiz operates a transmission repair shop right next to the grow operation. All that built-in security uh, hinders the firemen efforts to put out the fire. And so that gives the fire more, more time to spread into my building. If you make changes to the code, what would you like to see changed? Uh, we just need a way to monitor these situations. A lot of these operations, once they get their permit, that's just the start of the process. We need to be able to monitor these people all the way through the process. And now, Watson says grow operations like this consume a lot of electricity and that many of the fires are electrical in nature. They believe this one was. He says part of the problem is that once the initial permit is issued, some of the operators change the wiring in the building and fire crews aren't aware of that. Today, firefighters shut off the electricity and entered the building only to find there was still electricity inside. And of course, water and electricity do not mix. Live in Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.